How's it going? My name is James and this video is going to be a quick tutorial on getting the very popular NordVPN set up and running on your desktop and mobile device. We're also going to be taking a look at each respective application on both platforms. So if you were considering trying out NordVPN, you've been having trouble selecting the right plan for yourself, or you were just curious about the VPN's features, I hope you find this video useful. So as a paid VPN service, NordVPN has four subscription plans to choose from, a monthly plan, an annual or two year plan. And finally, their most popular plan will sign you up for three years with the service. Each plan is fully refundable for 30 days, so there's no risk in just giving it a try. The monthly plan starts at $11.95. The annual plan goes for $83.88 annually. The two-year plan will go for around 120 USD built every two years, and the three-year plan for 126 USD built every three years. It's no surprise that the three-year plan is Nord's most popular subscription, as it's an incredible value. For the same price you pay for most other VPNs annual plans, you get one of the best VPNs out there for three years. With that said though, I'm just gonna grab the monthly plan for the purpose of this tutorial. Once you select your plan, go ahead and enter your email address and then select your payment method. Interestingly enough, Nord doesn't actually accept PayPal like most other VPNs or most other services in general. Rather, they accept Amazon Pay, Ally Pay, cryptocurrencies, and Union Pay. This is in addition to standard credit cards, of course. Once you select your payment method, go ahead and enter your payment information and then proceed to the next step. You should then be taken to a confirmation page telling you to check your email address where you'll have two emails waiting for you from Nord. The first being a typical welcome email. There's a download link here that lets you download the installer later on. And the other being your account activation. Open the account activation email and proceed to activate your account by clicking the link button. From there, you'll be asked to create a new password to the account. Once that's done, click on the change password button, which will then bring you to the download page where NordVPN's installer should automatically begin downloading. So on Windows, NordVPN's client was probably the fastest install I've ever experienced. Well, at least in a VPN's case. You can specify where you'd like to install the software. I personally chose my D drive. Upon installation, NordVPN's login screen should automatically open up. And once you've entered your login information, you should be presented with Nord's home screen. NordVPN's application itself is incredibly easy and intuitive to use. The main feature here is the bird's eye view of the world map where you'll see the VPN's multitude of servers as well as the quick connect button that'll automatically connect you to the fastest server in proximity to your location. You can connect to servers here or in the drop down menu using the left hand panel. Uh, these are all organized and can be neatly tucked away via the arrows. The left-hand side also features specialty servers like P2P and Double VPN in case you prefer to connect to those servers instead. Clicking on different countries in the left-hand panel will open up a pop-up menu that lets you specify the region and server you'd like to connect with within that country. Here, you'll also be able to scroll up and down to see each respective server's load and capacity. I highly recommend just straight up picking the fastest option to get up and running as quickly as possible. If you look over to the top of the application, you'll see the settings tab. Here, you'll be able to tweak NordVPN according to your specifications. In addition to update and startup functions, the main features on the general tab are CyberSec and the various kill switch buttons here. CyberSec is pretty much NordVPN's built-in security suite that creates an extra layer of protection against malware, phishing, and ads. For the record, when you have this bad boy flipped on, it totally bypasses YouTube's ads as well. So the more you know. Additionally, Nord comes with your standard internet kill switch, as well as one that specifically kills off the connection to certain apps. You can specify this by clicking on the program list in the settings menu. The auto connect section allows you to configure where and how you'd like to auto connect upon firing up NordVPN's application. You can choose your preferred gateway, as well as region or server. The advanced tab lets you swap between TCP and UDP protocols, set up your custom DNS, and it also has the unique obfuscated servers option. Having this option enabled allows you to bypass certain internet restrictions such as network firewalls. In this mode, you're also likely to experience drops in speed, so it's usually more recommended for when you're browsing the web in countries with restricted internet access. The last option here allows you to run a diagnostics check, which is useful in the event that you experience connectivity issues while you're connected to NordVPN. So lastly, we'll be taking a quick look at NordVPN's mobile version, which is like most other mobile VPNs, a 
a stripped down version of its desktop cousin. In this case though, that is a great thing because Nord's desktop app is pretty phenomenal because of its simplicity. So to get things started, hop onto the app or Google Play Store, search up the NordVPN app and give it a download. Once you've downloaded the app, open it up and you'll be taken to a familiar looking home screen. If it's your first time setting up Nord on your phone, you'll likely get some kind of typical onboarding questions asking you to enable notifications or even VPN configuration. Whatever it is, go ahead and enable it unless it's something bad. Just like Nord's desktop version, Nord on mobile features the same bird's eye view of the world map where you're able to see its multiple servers. Alternatively, all 5,600 of Nord's servers can be searched up in the bottom panel of the home screen. Clicking on connect will then connect you to the VPN server of your choice or automatically to the server of your choice. The top of the screen should display a green connection bar indicating you're connected to the server. If you hop into the settings menu, you'll see that the awesome CyberSec feature has carried over from desktop onto mobile. And yes, I checked, it blocks YouTube ads if you're on YouTube mobile. Interestingly enough, the mobile version also allows you to connect via IKV2 protocol. This is in addition to UDP and TCP, something that isn't automatically offered by the Windows version of NordVPN. You have to manually configure that. Lastly, you're able to configure auto connect functions as well as configure NordVPN for use with Siri if you're on iPhone. With that said, that pretty much concludes this overview of NordVPN for desktop and mobile. Whether you're browsing on desktop or on the go with your smartphone, NordVPN offers powerful security in an easy to use and elegantly designed app. I hope you found this little tutorial useful. If you did, it'd be much appreciated if you dropped the video a thumbs up. Let us know what VPNs you'd like us to check out next in the comment section below. And if you haven't already done so, make sure to subscribe. Again, I'm James and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.